Welcome to Powerful Numbers. In this lesson I'm going to solve some multiplication problems with powers. Let's have a look at this uh, tiling pattern over here. You can see that it's two tiles high and two tiles wide. So if I wanted to work out how many tiles there are in total, I could do two times two, which I know equals four. Now there's another way that I could write that, and that is two to the power of 2, or 2 squared. This number up here tells me how many times I have to times this number by itself. Let's have another look, or look at another one. Here's another tiling pattern here. You can see it's 3 high and 3 wide, so if I wanted to work out how many tiles were there, I could go 3 times 3 equals 9, or I could work out 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared. Again, this number here is telling me how many times I need to times the 3 by itself. So it says I need to do it twice. 3 times 3. Here's another tiling pattern. 4 tiles wide, 4 tiles high. So just like last time, I could do 4 times 4, which I know equals 16. Or I could write 4 squared. And this 2 here, again, is telling me how many times I had to times this, more, this number here by itself, which was twice. Let's go down to our hundreds uh, grid down here and see if we can find some of these square numbers. Well, we could do 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, and the answer to that is 4. We could do 3 times 3, and the answer to that is well, which would be 3 squared, and the answer to that is 9. We could do 4 times 4, or 4 squared, which is 16. 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, which is 25. Let's do one more. Uh, let's go up a little bit this time. Let's jump up. 7 times 7 which is 7 squared, which is 49. Now we could go through and write all of the square numbers in here, um, but because we're a little bit short on time, I'm just going to zap through and put them all in. So now you can see we've got all our square numbers um, up to 100. Now, in um, multiplication, the opposite is division. In addition, the opposite is subtraction. Well, we have something which is the opposite of uh, raising something to the power of 2 or squaring it, and that is called the square root. It looks a bit like the division sign that we learned in the uh, algorithm for division, except you can see it's got this little flick here. So what we do is we can put a number inside it, one of those, one of the numbers that we've circled over here, and we would say, what is the square root of 49? And what that means is, what number times itself has made 49? So the answer to that is 7. We could choose another one from over here. Let's choose this one here, 64. If someone says, what is the square root of 64? They're meaning, what number times itself would make 64? And the answer is 8. Now we've looked at numbers which have been raised to the power of 2 or squared, but you can also raise numbers by more than that. We could do this. Uh, 2 to the power of 3. Well, let's have a look at what that would look like. It would look a bit like this. It would still be 2 boxes high, this way. It would still be 2 boxes wide, but it would also have some depth to it. So you can see that this cube now goes back to. Remember I said that this here tells me how many times I have to times this number by itself. So I had to times it by itself three times. Two times two times two, or the height which was two, the width which was two, and the depth. Two times two is four, and four times two is eight. This might test my drawing skills, but let's see if we can uh, change this one as well. So it's 3 high 
and it's three wide, I'm going to try and make this so that it goes back three as well. Ooh. Not the most beautiful drawing, but you can see the idea. Now it's got some depth, it's going back three. So to work out how many uh, cubes make up this, I would have to go the height, which is three boxes high, the width, which is three boxes wide, times the depth, which it goes three boxes back. Now the quick way to write that would be three to the power of three, because I needed to times three by it, uh, three by itself three times. Now we can work out the answer to that. Three times three is nine times the number three is twenty-seven. Now we can raise numbers by even bigger powers. Uh, we could do two to the power of five. So that means this number needs to be times by itself five times. So we've got two times two, times two, times two, times two. And we can work out the answer to that. Two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is sixteen, and sixteen times two is thirty-two. So two to the power of five is thirty-two. You can see just by looking at these, why we sometimes use 2 to the power of 5 rather than writing out all of these numbers here. See how much more compact this is here. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. Uh, for more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.